Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I bought a little fall decoration right here. I saw this at Joann's on sale the other day for like eight bucks and I thought that would fit perfect on my bed. We're channeling some fall vibes even though we're not quite there yet. I'm actually ready for fall this year and I don't know who I am. Did I just say that? Anyway, we have a package in my lap today. We're doing an Asian skincare haul. I didn't get a ton but this is what I ordered from YesStyle. I've had this stuff in my cart for a while and I have been working my way through some of the last stuff I ordered and and it's just gonna be so hard to go back to US skincare because even though there's some good stuff, the Asian skincare is just unmatched. I like to keep a little stock of it. I like to dabble around, try some different things out. I got some restocks of stuff and some new stuff to try out. So let's go ahead and get in this unboxing. Okay. I kind of forgot what I ordered even though this was like two weeks ago. I always order enough to get the free express shipping and it usually comes pretty quickly as long as all your items are in stock. Okay, this is packaged really nicely. I'm just gonna start grabbing it first. I got this little headband. I think this was like $3. I have ordered three headbands off of Yes Style. I mean, they're as cheap as everywhere else and they always work really well. I wanted the pink one and it was out of stock. I have like a mouse ears one, but uh, oh yeah. I think that'll stay on my head good. That is a really good look, do you guys think so? All of their headbands always stay on my head really good and I like that it's fluffy, it like absorbs water. I love these for washing my face in the sink. And I use them since they're like thicker and hold more hair back, I use those under my shower cap too in the shower. Okay, I think the rest is in this huge package. Y'all. Yep. We have, ooh, this is the Beauty of Joseon Glow Deep Serum. I'm currently like halfway through my just glow serum from this brand right now. It is fantastic and I love it. This is confusing. This looks just like the one I'm using right now. I ordered another one of those because I love it so much. This one is the Glow Deep Serum, not just the glow. It has rice and alpha arbutin, which is very brightening. So I'm really excited to try this. This is a repeat of the serum I currently am using. I switched between this one and the Purito Centella Asiatic one. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know it's good if I order a second one. Okay, that one's a little more yellow. This one is Propolis, which is like a honey extract and niacinamide. The only thing you have to worry about, Propolis is supposed to be like very healing and stuff, but if you have an allergy to fragrance, it can transfer over to Propolis. And if you're allergic to bees, I would just look it up because I don't know for sure if that could like affect anything. Propolis is from bees, so just know that. But here this one is, so it's just a little bit more yellow. This one already is fantastic. I have been using it lately and Moi. And I ordered a third serum from them. They make four, but I didn't want to get the green one that had like salicylic acid because I used tretinoin. This one, this one is the Revive Serum Ginseng and Snail Mucin. Now I have never used anything with ginseng. I have used the Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence, but that was when I was breaking out really, really badly and I felt like that gave me more breakout. So I'm hoping like my skin doesn't mind snail mucin, but I don't know. Ew, that kind of looks weird. So I'm excited to try that one. It's kind of a weird color. Looks like something that's rotted. That is okay. I decided to get brave and try something else with snail mucin since I tried the essence before and I wasn't the hugest fan. But again, that's when nothing worked on my skin because it was gonna break out no matter what. So I don't feel like that was a fair, a fair test right there. I am trying the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. So same brand, it's just in a cream. I've seen that this is so sticky and slimy, but I'm hoping it works really well and adds some hydration to my skin. I probably wouldn't have bought this, but I've been seeing it all over TikTok lately and it kind of made me want to try it again because everybody keeps saying how amazing snail mucin is. Since I tried the other before, I thought I'm gonna try this first. That is such a nice jar package. <gasps> oh, oh my, that is really sticky. Okay, so I'll try this out soon and let you guys know how this goes. I do have a skincare routine that should already be up if you want to see some of the current Asian skincare that I'm using right now. I've used quite a bit and tried quite a bit out from my last hauls and that's why I went ahead and bought these. Let's see. This I'm really excited about. This is actually a hair care product. I think it's a hair mask, collagen ceramide coating protein treatment. 
So I'm guessing I'm not supposed to use this super frequently. I need to look up exactly how to use this, but I recognize it from Abby Young's TikToks and videos, and I've seen it in other people's TikToks. So I cannot wait to try this. That is so cute. <gasps> oh, that is precious. That is the cutest packaging ever. And that's actually a pretty big tube. I think this was like six bucks. Let me smell it and see what it smells like. It has a, it has a little thing. Hold on. Let's see if I can prairie dog it out for y'all. That is a weird. It has a very, very light scent, but it smells amazing. The best way I know how to describe it is it smells exactly like the inside of the Courtyard Marriott Hotel in Pigeon Forge. I don't know what kind of scent they use. It smells good and it smells bougie and luxurious. And that's exactly what this smells like. Oh, how to use. Okay, there's an English side, how to use. After shampooing, dry off with a towel and apply to whole parts of your hair. Rinse out with tepid water after five to 10 minutes. So it's like a hair mask. You rinse it out. Okay, I guess in place of conditioner. I will try this ASAP and I will give an update. This is a little sample size I got, Revectin Clean Lotus Water Cream. This is very teeny tiny. This is like smaller than I thought it would be. I got this as like a travel moisturizer, just something that will fit in a teeny tiny travel bag, like an overnight toiletry bag. I wanna feel what this feels like. But that's literally like the size of a hotel that's very tiny. That's smaller than I thought it would be. Let's see. Feels very nice. Feels luxurious. But it also feels very watery like it would not be good for dry skin. Feels like it soaks in really fast. I think I'll like it because sometimes my skin leans more towards the oily side. But like if I'm dry from Tretino and this ain't gonna cut it, I don't think. Fragrance free. Smells fine. Not really a smell to it. I think it's okay. I mean, I think this will be worth like four bucks just solely to take traveling with me. Next thing, <gasps> I'm so excited about this. This is the Matte Sunstick by Beauty of Joseon. This has been out of stock or like out 30 days and I did not want to make an order and wait that long. I finally found it and it was like one to two day shipping. It's green? It's kind of green, that's so cool, okay. I don't have anything on my face, literally for this reason. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. That is the weirdest. Oh, oh my gosh. It does not feel waxy or heavy at all. Like this makes me wanna put it on my face. I don't feel like there's a cast to it. It's not shiny. I see the hype of this. I cannot wait to do a full face with this. Oh my gosh. I see the hype and it's SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus. And I think this was around $13. I've tried the Skinnick, I think is how you say it, Airy Sunstick. I just don't ever reach for that because it just feels so like waxy and gets oily feeling so fast on me. And I just feel like my hair will stick to it. But this one, I don't feel like, I can not really tell it's on my face. It just makes it feel even better. Oh. This is gonna change sunscreen sticks for me. I got several cleansers to try out this time. Since I got so many moisturizers in my last few orders, I didn't need many more moisturizers, but I am needing some more cleansers. So this is the Rovectin Skin Essential Conditioning Cleanser, Advanced Formula Hypoallergenic. It's supposed to be non-drying, fragrance-free, gentle. I thought it would be a cream cleanser, but when I saw that it was a foaming cleanser, I went ahead and picked it up. This was like around $15, I think, so you don't get as much as in like the La Roche-Posay cleansers. Those are my all-time favorites, especially from the drugstore. So we're gonna see how this compares to those. My skin does not tolerate conditioning cleansers well or like the lotion-y texture. My skin always kind of burns and breaks out and stings from those. So I almost passed on this, but it says it's a foaming cleanser. So we're gonna try this out soon because I'm almost out of my last La Roche Posay cleanser and then I'll open that one. Another cleanser. This is the Matcha Hydrating Foam Cleanser by B Lab. I feel like cleansers like this are really good to take traveling because they have a lid. I hate taking these even though they can seal. I've had them come open and it's a disaster. Let's see what this one smells like. <laughs> Hello. There we go. Feels kind of thick. Ah, that's pretty thick. 
I don't smell any smell to it. It is supposed to be fragrance free and it has green tea in it. It's supposed to be very soothing. Now this one says it's a foam cleanser, which is why I bought it, but it's very thick like a cream, very thick like a mask looking thing. So I am interested to see how that works. I don't know. We'll see. An eye cream. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Bakuchiol Eye Cream with Sika and Collagen for reduced appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So I have the Beauty of Joseon Retinol Eye Cream, but I don't want to use retinol around my eyes every night because sometimes I feel a little bit sensitive. This Bakuchiol Eye Cream is supposed to be very brightening for under eyes. It says it um, reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, but I think Bakuchiol is supposed to be really brightening as well. So maybe this will Will be not as harsh as retinol and I can use this like alternating days or something. This is such a cute little package. Like that just feels so nice and it's so slim. So I think it was nine dollars so eye creams are not necessary by any means. Just take your gentle moisturizer up under your eyes but when you have active ingredients like this that you want to put around your eyes it's worth a try and I mean I wouldn't spend a hundred dollars on an eye cream but $9, like I'm willing to spend that to try it. Only a few more things. This is another ginseng product, Beauty of Joseon. I think I like Beauty of Joseon a little bit, don't y'all? I think half of this haul is their products. I love their just minimal packaging, it's so cute. So this is a toner, ginseng essence water. Sorry, it's an essence. This is the ginseng essence water. It has ginseng root water 80% and niacinamide 2%. That just looks so nice. Like I want this sitting on my bathroom counter. I love using essences and toners because they add so much more hydration to my skin. Like I thought it was kind of a scam at first, but I really don't think it is. And it's a great way to get more active ingredients on your face and more hydrating ingredients without like slathering four layers of moisturizer on. I'm currently using the Isentree green tea toner and that one's really nice. But my favorite so far that I've tried is the I'm From Rice toner. I've gone through a few of those and it is so nice. Oh, this one's kind of smashed. This is the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Low pH Cleansing Foam. Oops, yep, that smashed. This one's pretty thick too. Like I am mash. Oh, okay, well. Ooh, that is pretty thick to be a cleansing foam. I'm used to like liquidy things. This looks kind of pearly. I like that. I don't have a smell. No smell. It's fragrance free. And this one's supposed to be really gentle. Last thing is a few different pimple patches. I like the Hero Cosmetics ones, but they're a little bit expensive. They do stick pretty well though. Um, I think it's $12 for those. And these are around like anywhere from two to four dollars a pack. So I'm gonna try these out and let you guys know how these are. This is the Some By Me Clear Spot Patch. It does not say that I can read how many are in this. Okay, then two different spot patches from Pyeongkang Yul. These are just hydrocolloid patches. This one's supposed to be super thin and this one just says clear spot patch. I'm interested to see how much thinner these super thin ones are than these just plain clear spot patches. We'll see how well these stick. What is this? Did I order this? This is also in my package. I don't remember if I ordered this or if this is like a free sample. Oh. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Okay, this is like a sampling of some of the Avid products. That's cute. I love the little package that was in. That would be so easy to travel with. Alrighty, so that is all that I got from YesStyle. Let me know if you've tried any of this out and what your thoughts are down below. I will try this out probably tonight when I wash my hair and I'll let you guys know how it is in a vlog or something very soon. Thank you for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I will leave all this linked down in the description. If you are interested in shopping Yes Style and getting like up to 10% off, I think I will leave a discount code in the description box. Again, they did not sponsor this. They don't know who I am. I buy this stuff. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Don't